Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Ben Edwards, founder of Veritas Wellness. I'm a conventionally trained medical doctor, practiced that way for 10 years until I was introduced to a better way called integrative medicine that implements nutrition and other things. And then lately I've learned our thoughts are more powerful than anything. So you cannot um, medicate yourself out of something you ate yourself into, but you can't eat diet yourself out of something you thought yourself into. So this is an amazing combination of both natural and supernatural coming together in this body. It's awesome. But we today want to talk about dirt to soil. Gabe Brown is the author of this book. I interviewed Gabe um, a few years ago on the podcast. You can go to veritaswellnessmember.com, go to the resource page, podcast page, type in Gabe Brown in the search bar. It'll just do the drop down menu and find Gabe Brown as one of the guests. It's an awesome interview. What he talks about is restoring our soil, turning dirt back into soil. Dr. Linus Pauling was a Nobel Prize winner. Here's a quote from him. He's actually a two time Nobel Prize winner. And he said, you can trace almost every sickness, every disease, and every ailment to a mineral deficiency. So what has happened with our food is it's been devoided of minerals. Dr. Don Davis, in this slide you, here you can see, this is a study looking back over the last 50 years. Actually, this was from 1999 back to the 1950s. And he evaluated 43 common garden crops for their vitamin and mineral content. And you see this huge drop and mineral content. And this graph here really depicts it. It's a, a kind of a busy graph, but here on the left, you can see all the different minerals, phosphorus, selenium, copper, magnesium, cobalt, calcium, zinc, and iron. And this is in 1900 on the far left of this slide. That's the mineral content in the food back in the early 1900s. But then look as you move across, you hit that first dark blue, blue shaded area. That was in the late 1920s, mechanized farming came into practice. What that means is the plow came through the soil back when soil was still soil. What changed soil into just dirt is what you see on this graph. Mechanized farming, ammonium nitrate, and then pesticide, herbicide, fungicide, and lastly, glyphosate. So let's step through this step by step by step. Mechanized farming, that's the plow when it rips through the soil, it breaks up the fungi and it disturbs and kills that fungi in the soil. Well, the fungi is what's giving that soil the porous, spongy, uh, chocolate cake-like consistency, and all those porous holes is what holds the water in the soil when it rains. Well, it's those water droplets that allow bacteria to live and thrive and replicate. The bacteria live on the water droplets. It's the bacteria that work on the rocks and the pebbles and the stones and the sand that get the minerals out of that into a water soluble form. The root of the plant can take up and put into the apple, the carrot, the collard green, the broccoli and all the things. So when you disturb that bacteria, you're going to deplete the minerals in that food. And that's what's happened. Mechanized farming disturbs the fungi. Now you have less water retention. You have less bacterial population and therefore a demineralized plant. And just as the graph shows here, you see the dotted lines, the value of, of mineral value, of mineral content of the food starts to deplete as soon as that plow got introduced. So a demineralized plant, as you can see over the next two decades, these plants became weaker and weaker and weaker. They couldn't defend themselves. So now um, ammonium nitrate comes in to bolster that plant and give it more growth. That's a, a synthetic fertilizer. So it's called the green revolution. This synthetic fertilizer comes in, these plants grow big and green and luscious again, but that's just the outward appearance. The inside of the plant is still weakened because of the disruption of the normal mineral balance. When you just give one mineral nitrogen, and you give it out of balance from all the other minerals, it actually affects the plant's immune system in a negative way. It becomes a weaker plant, can't defend itself. So now you have fungus or, um, and different parasites and insects come in. So thus the need for herbicide, fungicide, pesticide, all the weeds, all the bugs come into that weakened plant. So now we got to spray for those. Every step of the way, as this graph depicts, the mineral content of the food goes down and down and down and down. We demineralize the food through the plow, synthetic fertilizer, and then finally the pesticide, herbicide, fungicide killed even more bugs in the soil. And remember, it's the bugs in the soil that liberate the minerals. And then the final nail in the coffin where you see that, that black dotted line go to almost zero, that's glyphosate. That's Roundup. 
Roundup is a chelator. It chelates these minerals. That means to claw or to grab and to hold on to and not let go. And that was the final piece that caused our mineral content of the food to go to almost nothing compared to the 1950s. So when we lack minerals, then our enzymes in our body can't function well. You've heard of the sun, light hitting your skin, and you change the cholesterol in your skin into vitamin D. Well, that doesn't just happen magically. That There's an enzyme that's cleaving, chopping off a chemical reactions happening. These enzymes do the actual chopping and adding of molecules on and off of these different substances in the body, like chopping cholesterol into something else called vitamin D. So these enzymes need minerals to function. So when you're missing minerals, in particular magnesium, 80% of Americans are deficient in magnesium. Magnesium is needed for about 50% of the different enzymatic pathways of metabolism, the energy production of the cell. So if you're missing magnesium, your metabolism, energy production of the cell is going to be less and that cell is not going to be able to perform its job. That's part of the reason Linus Pauling, Nobel Prize winner, said he could trace every ailment, disease, and sickness down to mineral deficiency. If you're remineralized appropriately, all these enzymes will start to function like they're supposed to. You can sit back, relax, and just trust the design. But we need the minerals. We need to return our dirt back to soil. We need the bacteria back in that dirt. We need the fungus back in that dirt. We need living matter. We need roots in that dirt. The dirt's not supposed to be uncovered. You can, again, go and listen to Gabe Brown's uh, podcast interview I did with him a couple years ago if you're interested to learn more about that. In the meantime, not only should you support regenerative agriculture, any farmer that's trying to regenerate their dirt back to soil, um, but also remineralize yourself supplementally until you can find a farmer or find a food source that is rich in minerals. I do that with sea salt and trace mineral drops. Those are two great ways to get the minerals back in your body, which you got to have to be healthy, guys. So that's your stewardship tip for the day. Get minerals, mineral-rich food from a regenerative organic um, farmer. And local grown is best. Vine ripen, those will have the most minerals. Until then, supplement with sea salt. Salt your way to health. That's another video. Um, and trace mineral drops too. We'll see you next time, guys.